North Dakota Game and Fish currently manages over 400 lakes that produce some of the best fishing in the state's history. And there's a good reason why. It's a very unique partnership. You don't find it anywhere else in the country where the state and the federal fisheries folks work so close hand in hand trying to produce fish. And that partnership where we, the Game and Fish Department, goes out, spawns a fish, gets the eggs, the hatchery raises those fish, and then we, Game and Fish again, stocks those fish. That partnership has worked wonderfully and highly, highly efficient. It's something that you don't see in, in a lot of states in that we've actually got not only the, uh, the, the, the manpower shared between the two, but we also have, a, there's a, we, we get a, a grant actually from the Game and Fish that allows us to do what we do. Power says Game and Fish is stocking millions of fish into lakes statewide every year. I won't say all the fish out there that they catch, but a lot of the fish that anglers catch, whether it's walleye, pike, certainly trout, salmon, anything like that, a lot of those fish originated from one of the two federal hatcheries. The two hatcheries raise a diversity of fish, too. Well, we start out with walleye as our number one. We do a lot of northern pike. We do, uh, we have done in the past smallmouth bass, crappie, bluegill, um, paddlefish, shovelnose sturgeon, burbot, um, pallid sturgeon, perch, trout and salmon, all the trout and salmon. The two agencies have similar missions, but the hatcheries also play an important role in native fish species also. The game of fish department's mission is really about the recreational fisheries. Fish and Wildlife Service has, diff has that mission. They care about the recreational fishery, thus we have this partnership, but they also deal with all the threatened and endangered fish species, not just in North Dakota, but throughout much of up the uh, northern United States. While not every walleye water needs stocking, the partnership between the Game and Fish and the two fish hatcheries produces and delivers enough fingerlings to maintain a near record number of lakes for the state's anglers. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.